this i literally feel like i'm watching myself play this game right now this is kind of crazy right and welcome back to another subscriber breakdown this is episode number three if you guys missed the first two episodes those links will be down below in the description and if you want your gameplay reviewed there will be a link down below in the description which will take you to a submission form it's really easy to do and sign up for and i will review it in the order that i do receive them so now what i want you guys to do as well is leave some comments down below and make sure they're constructive criticism if you do leave negative comments and i have seen some of the past two episodes i will definitely hide your comment and nobody will even be able to see your comments at all ever again please keep the comments positive so just a little basic background and history of this specific player part of the questionnaire will ask you what is your current kd and his kd is a 1.31 kd ratio and how long have you been playing call of duty for He's been playing for two years, so he's had quite some experience underneath his belt. And his reason for submission is that he wants to be able to drop nukes and also plan to go pro one day as well. So, you know, dropping nukes and going pro, you know, that's a very high goal. But, you know, it's definitely not unattainable. You know, we can certainly help him try to get there. But let's go ahead and take a look at his gameplay right now. And by the way, if you do like this series, make sure to leave a like on it. That way I know to continue doing this series. And subscriber if you're new around here so you can make your way back to the channel. Join Turbo Nation today, man. We're almost at 95,000 subscribers. So let's just get right into it, guys. So, uh, by the way, this is a 720p quality. It's just the way that most people are able to upload their quality videos at. So, I apologize in advance if it's a little blurry, but this one's actually not too bad for some reason. So, I see that he's using the Uzi here with a suppressor on it. So, not bad for trying to stay stealthy. That was a pretty good C4 toss right there. He's sticking to the outskirts of the map, which is good. It looks like he's playing a 10v10 right now. There's, he's got a lot of teammates. So he throws that grenade back, which I really like. That's a good play. And he takes out that guy using that head glitch, positioning himself really well. I like the way that he pre-aims around those corners before he just runs around. I'm not going to point out all the bad things. I'm, of course, going to point out the good things that he's doing. Now, I like the way that he's pre-aiming down, you know, sides before he moves around the map. And that's a really good example right there. He's actually doing really well. At this point, I have no qualms or issues with uh, how he's playing the game. Now, let's see what happened here. Okay, <laughs> you know, there's nothing you could do about that, man. That's just the way that some people play this game. They like to sit in corners. Those type of people you don't ever want to aspire to be because they never improve at the game. Those are probably people who just pick up the controller like once or twice a month, you know, because they're bored or something like that. But anyways, yeah, he, he seems pretty upset about that right now at this point. Wow, he's got pretty good accuracy. Uh, he knew that there was some activity going on in that area. That's why he was pre-aiming there, waiting for the opponent to show up. So I still like what he's doing here. He's sticking to the outskirts of the map. And I'm also looking at that minimap. Actually, this is a, a small little thing. He could definitely change his minimap to make it square so that he has about 20% more area to look at on his minimap. So that's something that you could actually change in the settings if you guys didn't know. All right. So let's just go ahead and continue here. So he's pushing down to the cafe. He's pre-aiming down every line of sight. He's approaching the situations cautiously. All right. He decides that it's not okay to go that way. Okay, he's looking at his teammate. By the way, guys, if you guys are going to upload videos, make sure there's no commentary. I don't want to hear any commentary. I want it to be as raw as possible. Wow, I like the way that he just dodged that whole entire situation right there. He avoided that bouncing Betty. So he reloaded right here with that munitions box. He's pre-aiming. He's looking at that mini-map. Obviously, that's telling him where he needs to go. So he's engaging in a gunfight there. He's using the Uzi. The Uzi's not really great at long range. But you know what? It wouldn't hurt to try. Yeah, he's pretty good. He's got, a, he's got a pretty good idea of how to move around the map, how to fill in those lanes correctly. He's going to go right now into the back alleyway uh, just to be able to meet up with this enemy that he saw that was going this way. He turns on his dead silence, which is really smart. Something I would also do as well is when you're going in the enemy spawn, you definitely want to turn on your dead silence because footsteps are heard so easily in this game. That was a pretty nice adjustment right there with his hip fire shot. So I like the I like what he's doing here. He's not pushing the spawn entirely. He's just kind of patrolling the outsides of the spawn right now. So I'm not sure what perks he's actually running, but he didn't die to that bouncing Betty because he's got on EOD. 
Wow, I'm honestly actually really surprised right now. So I hope that you guys who are watching this video are actually still learning something from this video, regardless if he's not making too many mistakes. You know, we could also still learn from players who are good as well. I think I might actually start introducing that to my channel so that you guys can get a broad spectrum and get a different type of variety of different types of skill levels. I don't know what happened there. It just skipped. So he's going back into the spawn once again. And also notice how he's always looking to patrol the spawns. You know, that's how Ramaza works. If you're really trying to dominate, it looks like somebody was like right behind him. So that's why he's looking right behind him. Oh, these dudes are just camping in their spawn right now. So you might as well just take them out while you're there. Another bouncing Betty. Somebody just threw a flash. So he's going to go up here. He turns on his dead sounds once again. He's going to pre-aim. He stole that kill from his teammate. Because his teammate was too slow at getting the kill. Now, there's a couple people here in the market rooftops with him. I believe they're downstairs in the cafe. So, he's going to pre-aim here because this is where exactly the UAVs are pretty much telling him where the enemies are at. Man, he's absolutely tearing it up right now. He has pretty good accuracy as well. Okay, he's got his VTOL jet. He should call that in before the match ends. I like the way he's rotating around the map accordingly. You know, he's not just, like, running blindly into the enemy spawn, you know, with no direction. You know, everything he's doing, I can tell it's for a good reason. So, right now, I'm, I'm sure at this point, he's looking to flank. He's going to go into the construction site, pick up some kills here. So, he's actually going to go into the, I don't know what this is, the uh, electrical shop. And he's still sticking to the outskirts of the map. He's not just going down the middle of the map. He's looking into their spawn right now because if you look at that minimap, the reason why I'm saying he's rotating around the map accordingly is because look at where his teammates are on the minimap right now. They're pretty much on the other side of the map. And by theory, that should mean that the enemies are in the areas where your teammates are not at. So he's always looking to get the flank. You know, that's why I'm saying everything he's doing, it looks like he's doing it correctly. He's moving at the right times. And, you know, for those who are watching at home and you don't really understand the whole process of rotating around the map at the right times, if you continue to practice these principles and have the basic fundamentals down, over time, it will just become natural and you will instantly adjust just like that. So just like the way that this guy is doing right now. And unfortunately, he got clipped right there. He didn't make any wrong moves in that scenario. It was just the fact that he just didn't see the enemy first when he turned around the corner. You know, those things do happen as well. So again, he's just, you know, spawning and dying here. There's nothing much you can really do about that. He's doing pretty well. I believe he might be leading his team in kills. So it's just a little small little minor gunfight right there that he missed. So he is he is pretty much on a, a dying streak right now. So I'm sure he's looking to switch that momentum up to get back on a gun streak. So he's pre-aiming before he checks. He Notice how he checks. This is exactly what I mean by constantly checking your corners and every line of sight before you make a move. You always want to clear the area first before you move. So that's why you always have to double check, make sure everything's good. Look at the way he slides around those corners as well. His movement's on point. It's very unpredictable. And in that situation right there, the enemy did slide into him. And it was just before he could actually see the enemy coming towards him. And that's why he died in that situation. So he's not really making too many mistakes, like I said. I'm actually liking what I'm seeing right now. So he's he got hurt. Notice how he got hurt while he was down there in that little alleyway area. Then he goes up here into the gun shop for a different angle on the situation to see if he can attack whoever was shooting at him. So that's why he's up here at the window. And I believe that was the same exact person that was aimed in at him. This I literally feel like I'm watching myself play this game right now. This is kind of crazy. All right, so that's the end of the video. You know, not too many mistakes, like I said. There was a lot of things that I did like to see here, and I could definitely see him pursuing his career as a pro player. He's literally got all the fundamentals down, and he finished off with 38 kills, six deaths, with a 6.33 KD ratio. Kudos to you, man. I hope you do well. The main advice that I would probably give you that you could probably improve on is just try to slow down your gameplay just a little bit more the closer you get to that advanced UAV. And then maybe when you get your advanced UAV, you can go ahead and take advantage of the situation and kill all the enemies because you'll clearly see them on the map and just 
try to be as cautious as possible don't rush into it because i make that mistake as well all in all i was fairly impressed with his gameplay he had all the fundamentals down right to a t he knew exactly how to rotate around the map accordingly he knew exactly what not to do when you're going into the spawn he knew not to push it he was just kind of patrolling the outer limits of their spawn and then as well as trying to find his own lane so that he's not bunched up with his teammates always competing for kills he was flanking around the map sticking to the outskirts he pretty much checked every single box that i would recommend to a lot of you guys who don't really know about those type of things so yeah guys if you did learn something make sure to let me know in the comments down below and leave a like on this video if you want to see this series continue and subscribe if you are new around here if you want to make your way back to the channel and learn more new things every single video i'd really appreciate it if you guys would hit that subscribe button turn on notifications as well so you make your way back to the channel and i will see you guys in the next video peace